Hermione, Hermione, did you hear? Sony bought Evo. Oh, she doesn't like that one bit. She's quite she upset. She doesn't care. Oh. Oh my God, wow. she's devastated. What does this mean for the tournament and things that could happen and Sony's buying habits? I don't know. Let's talk about it on this wow. episode of Press Start. <laughs> Let's oh go. Oh my God. <laughs> To be honest, guys, I don't know a whole lot about Evo. I'm not big into esports. I just haven't been able to follow it like super actively, so I don't know much about it. But Sony purchased this. People seem to be excited and also pissed off. So help me understand what's going on. Well, Luke, uh, Cammy's going to tell you all about it. <laughs> as well. She is the one that did the research. Yeah, that's as right. usual. Um, <laughs> so, Sony's brought out Evo, the Evolution Championship Series, alongside RTS. It's a joint acquisition. Um, RTS is a new venture from Endeavor, which apparently does a lot of esports stuff. Hmm. Um, but EVO is the largest annual fighting game tournament. It's a pretty big deal. It's been going since 1996. Uh, games like... <laughs> big 1996 fan over there. That's right. <laughs> My favorite year. <laughs> yeah. Um, they, all sorts of games, but like Tekken, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, uh, ones that have been pretty reoccurring, and Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros, which may or may not be coming back. You'll have to stay tuned. Yeah. Oh, cliffhanger. Uh, so I will say, my only exposure to Evo is I watched that Frederick Knudsen um, video on Dark Side Phil. Not Dark... Yeah, it is... Is it Dark Side Phil? Dark, I think it was Dark Side Phil. I'm not sure if it's Knudsen or Nudson. Nudson, I don't know what it I is. I still but... have no idea, but he's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, he's wonderful. He does the down the rabbit hole videos. And in that video, he breaks down how uh, DSP was known for going to Evo when everybody else dropped out because it was a tournament playing Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but like a super jank terribly done emulated version of the game he came in like top five or so he didn't even win but he uh he then put as like his claim to fame that he got top five in evolution or top five in evo whatever it was uh maybe it was top 10 even it wasn't even a good result but that's like my only exposure to evo is that dsp went and then that became like his entire identity was that he didn't even win it but did okay so that's all I know about it, but I do know that the community that follows esports like this follows it very actively. So a move like this has to be pretty attention grabbing for that community. Well, not only for the community, but the people that are into fighting games are a little bit insane sometimes. <laughs> did you hear about? Uh, did you hear about that guy who was playing Smash Brothers Melee and he wanted a GameCube controller that had a special defect in it so he could? Form a move correctly, and he couldn't get the controller, so he dropped out of the tournament. Wow! wow. Like that level of like spe specificity and that doesn't even make sense. It's like, hey, I'm gonna go to a weightlifting tournament, like powerlifting, and I only want to lift the weights that are mislabeled, <laughs> so that they look heavier it's than like they are. It's like in tennis where they give them like three tennis balls, and the tennis players are like, hmm, I do not want you. <laughs> I do not want that one. I have this one and this one alone. It's the only one I want. <laughs> That's the only one that will do. Only one that yeah, will do. Yeah. It's so funny to me like that they're so picky because it's like, if you're the best at the game, I get like when you talk about being high level and playing on a super high level, you can be kind of picky. Like there's the famous case of Bobby Fischer back in the, I think it was 1976 World Chess Championships when he beat Boris Spassky. His whole thing was that he thought that the cameras were like, irradiating him he thought flies were flying around and were little robots and he had them like search the rafters for low frequency he was basically like alex jones or david ike but in the form of a chess grandmaster 
And so whenever somebody is really good at something, they can be picky and super, I guess, anal about little stuff like that. But I, I don't buy it with like Smash Brothers in a tournament where you're like, I need a broken GameCube controller. Otherwise, <laughs> I, I just can't. It's not, I can't work with this. Well, what does Sony have to say on the matter? <laughs> yeah, what did Sony say about all of this? Uh, Sony's pretty happy about it. What a shocker. Uh, the only things they've really said is that, obviously confirming that it's true, Evo will return this August, online only, because of, you know... Everything. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they hope to increase the scale of the event. They want it to reach more people. And that the co-founders, Tom and Tony, uh, will remain close to the event as advisors. So I suppose it's kind of good, I, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good to Do me. we know how much they paid for it? No, we do not. It's all very hush-hush. Because Evo, I'm assuming, was a privately owned and operated venture. It wasn't like part of a big conglomerate or anything. Yeah. It was it yeah. was Evo and that's yeah, it. Three guys set it up and it grew. Yeah. Okay. I mean it's it's cool. I'm glad that companies are taking esports more seriously just because I don't follow it actively doesn't mean that a lot of other people don't. I mean you just hop on Twitch and you see how you know those communities people always forget but like 50,000 to 100,000 people that are passionate and follow everything very actively, it'll feel like millions of people for a regular thing that people might have interest in because they're so actively engaged. So it's cool. It's an interesting move for Sony to make. I wonder what it says about their long-term uh, plans, you know? Well, they believe in eSports and I cannot wait until we get competitive Last of Us Part Two playing because that's what I'm most excited for. I can't wait to see people... I don't know, do you think they'll turn Last of Us into a fighting game? I... I don't think so. You get Abby with the golf club. I was and... just gonna say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pick what, your weapon. What if they, like, expand it so it goes, like, you know how Nintendo just started with, like, Super Mario Brothers, and then it turned into this whole thing with Mario Kart and Mario Tennis and all, all of this stuff? What if they turn, like, The Last of Us, that becomes their Super Mario, so it turns into, like, The Last of Us Golf, and it's, oh, like, God. Abby is the, <laughs> the best player <laughs> has like all the best stats oh, and no. Joel just totally sucks <laughs> like, I could oh. I could get behind that that'd be interesting a new, I would like, love to see that a new that mini universe <laughs> uh, Jacob what are some of these quotes these important tidbits well from a Nintendo spokesperson uh, they said Nintendo has enjoyed engaging with fans at past Evo tournaments and wish the show organizers the best with their future venture or their new venture I don't mean to misquote. We will continue to assess Evo and other opportunities as we plan for future online and offline Super Smash Bros. tournament activity. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> be really. honest. I mean, yeah. Nintendo's been known for being super like petty when it comes to almost everything. If YouTubers use footage of like Mario Kart, like if I put Mario Kart in a video of mine, the whole video will get claimed by Nintendo, even though it's gameplay, even though like it's insane. So they have a tendency to be really kind of buzz kills when it comes to this type of thing. And even though they say publicly that Sony isn't their competitor, I, I don't think they want to help Sony at all. So I would assume we probably won't see Smash Bros at Evo any longer. Oh God! Freeze up space for Injustice Two. There you go. <laughs> I'd like to see that. I'd be okay. Set. I don't see why not. I mean, if they already have like Mortal Kombat, there's no reason they couldn't get Injustice in there too. They had it in 2018. Yeah. So they they, they can just bring it back. Bring it back. I mean, isn't that what is next on the docket for Nether Realm? Because they just had Mortal Kombat 11. Unless they're doing a new IP, I would assume it's a new Injustice game three or you know some spin-off but that i would assume is next so if they come out with three for next gen consoles i could get behind that I, i'm absolutely down for that 
Yeah. I'll be okay. I love two. 11, I thought, like, I loved Injustice 2. Mortal Kombat 11, I thought was okay. But I, I just liked Injustice a lot. She was my first. So you're always a little biased towards your first, you know? The last little tidbit is that it's, quote, also very important to note that EVO is still open to all platforms. The teams at PlayStation and RTS are enabling us to continue working with our community to support fighting games, said Mark Julio, EVO business developer, through Twitter. I mean, whenever something like this happens, you kind of have to save face and just say everything's great and you're excited for new possibilities and new ventures and that this is opening up a world of adventures and different things that you're going to be able to do that you weren't able to do before. It's kind of par for the course. You don't really know much of anything as to how this will actually play out. My assumption would be Sony will start trying to get a lot of their titles um, in these events and they're banking on this exploding. They can bring Sony All-Stars back. You guys ever see Sony All-Stars or whatever that was? I forget what it's yeah. called. No. Battle Royale All I know what you mean. It's like the Sony's take on Super Smash Brothers from the PS3 era. And it is no, I didn't hilarious know this. to look yeah. at. I think Kratos is in it. Uh, yeah, I think beautiful. Sackboy's in it. What PlayStation it? All-Stars Battle Royale. There it is, yeah. PlayStation All-Stars put that in the tournament. Imagine that. Imagine this is their big move to get play a, a new PlayStation All-Stars <laughs> game. They bought could out Evo imagine? just to do that. <laughs> That's the only oh. way they could maybe get people to play that, because that first game is, like, unplayable. It is so... Like, it's fun if you get, like, a big group of people, and you're just kind of sitting down for one night, enjoying Characters. how stupid it is. Big Daddy, Cole McGrath, Dante... It is uh, funny because princess. It looks just go. like Smash too. Yeah. They're not even like trying to hide it. Except it plays like garbage. That's funny. I had no idea. I literally had no idea. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> the top comment is: I played this game. It's not bad, but it just makes you want to play Smash Bros. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have Smash Brothers at home, honey. Yeah. That's what's, the Smash Brothers. Why would we do that? Why would we buy Smash Brothers? <laughs> That's so funny. That's so dumb. So we'll see where this goes. I I honestly don't know how Evo moves forward and how this plays out in the future. I mean, if Sony's anticipating it kind of gets added to their roster of, uh, I, I guess, e-events where they can broadcast, advertise their games and they're banking on the exposure. Maybe they're prepping for all sorts of exclusive deals with Netherrealm and other fighting game companies. Who knows? If honestly, if they were looking at um, signing some exclusivity deals with some of these developers for like six months for Injustice 3 or whatever, wouldn't be a bad idea. If they also get Evo, uh, they control that. They can promote it through Evo and then also push all these ads for PS5 and everything. So uh, maybe there's a big brain play like that or maybe it's just that they saw the opportunity to buy it and were like let's get it before xbox does who knows that's fair it does seem like more of an xbox buy it seems like something more microsoft would do so maybe sony's trying to you know actually start to compete now but not in the you know same way it's because xbox would buy it because they're like we're we're, we are microsoft we have tons of money but sony buying it's kind of like okay well but i'm not even sure about that because most of these events like fighting games are classically console games because you need a controller. So Microsoft seems focused on the stuff that they can bring to Game Pass across PC and console. Evo, you know, it's it's not like some of these tournaments where they're doing like, you know, COD or uh, where they're playing Fortnite. You know, this is a tournament that's based on fighting games, which is exclusively on console. And Sony at least focuses specifically on console. That's all they do. Whereas so, uh, Microsoft kind of has to play with both teams. So I'm not actually sure if I would agree it's it's a uh, Microsoft buy. I'm not sure it makes a lot of sense. Amazon though, I'm actually surprised Amazon might not be jumping on this because they bought up Twitch. They're buying up all of these esports um, events. Mc so McDonald's could have gotten their hands on it. Yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That'd be great. Everything just if, turns if yellow. If you would, like, it was just free McDonald's for you the rest of You get a filet of fish. Oh, that'd be 
I don't mind that. That has to pay. That's gonna pay itself off at some point to get free yeah. McDonald's for the rest of your life. Immediately. Too bad. Yeah, like you go in, you get a big meal. Get my big Mac. my little sister was over spending the weekend last week. She was like, "Ooh, you know, it sounds good, chicken nuggets." So I was like, "Okay." So we ordered a box. Cost us five dollars. And we got a box of like 20 or 25, it might have been 30, chicken nuggets with like eight sauces. I was like, we've solved world hunger. This right here, five bucks and start for an handfuls epidemic. of chicken Ed. nuggets. Yeah, no, nice, though. I mean, it's, it's good for you. It's whatever. Yeah, it's, fine. it's fine. And speaking of fine, finally, the video's over. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.